and welcome to another round of sports views tonight i am rounding up reviewing the third match round of the group stage of the mls is back tournament and previewing and predicting the round of 16 matchups we will start with group a of the group stage to talk about the group stage review it in Group A, the two results in match round three were New York City FC 1-0 over Miami. And then Philadelphia draws Orlando 1-1. The final standings are as follows. Orlando City finishes first with seven points plus three goal differential and six goals scored. Philadelphia Union finishes second with seven points plus two goal differential and four goals scored. NYCFC finishes third and advances with three points minus two goal differential and two goals scored. And fourth place, Inter Miami eliminated zero points minus three goal differential, two goals scored. The three teams that advance, Orlando City, Philadelphia Union and New York City FC in first, second, and third. First wild card goes to Group A. I am surprised at this group. I did not think Orlando would win at first when I started and predicted the group stage. I thought they would finish bottom, dead bottom of the group. Even when it was six teams and even when it was changed to four. I still finished they would finish dead bottom. Still thought they would finish dead bottom. So them winning this group was kind of a shock. But they played well. I was surprised. This whole group surprised me, except Philadelphia. I thought they would finish second the whole time. I didn't think they would be this good, but I thought they would finish second. So Philadelphia did what I thought. New York City FC, at first, I thought they would win the group, but they started slowly. I thought they would pick up against Orlando. They didn't. But they beat Miami. They did what they needed to do to advance. So at least I was right on that. But enter Miami. I was shocked. I thought they would finish third. And back when finishing third meant they would have gone through anyway. But third place in Group A still went through. So I thought Inter would have done a better job in this tournament. I thought they would have been way better. And the way they finished was sad because it was more unlucky than really bad football they only lost by one goal every game they played pretty well and also at the start of the regular season back in february and march every game they lost wasn't bad football they don't have enough talent but they only lost by one they're not that bad so it's more bad luck than than them being bad and that's kind of sad but them's the breaks. So now we move on to Group B. Reviewing Group B, the three results, because there was an extra game in match round three for this group. Chicago loses to San Jose 2-0. Seattle beats Vancouver 3-0. And Vancouver beats Chicago Fire 2-0 to make the group look like this. In first place, San Jose Earthquakes with seven points plus three goal differential, and six goals scored. Seattle Sounders second with four points, plus two goal differential, and four goals scored. Third, the Vancouver Whitecaps with three points, minus two goal differential, and five goals scored. That's probably why they moved on. And in fourth place and eliminated, the Chicago Fire with three points, minus three goal differential, and two goals scored. Advancing to the round of 16 is as follows. The San Jose Earthquakes, Seattle Sounders, and Vancouver Whitecaps as a wild card. First, second, and third. Two wild cards already. And looking at this group, it's kind of surprising. Vancouver pulled off a major upset at the end and scored enough goals to where that upset put them in. Chicago... After they beat Seattle, I thought they had a chance to go through. I thought them losing to San Jose was like, okay. I kind of expected a result like that. Also thought it could have been a draw, but I kind of expected a result like that. But them losing to Vancouver was shocking. Is Chicago as good as that Seattle game made them look out to be? Probably not. Probably not. That's kind of crazy, you know? 
one good result and people start blowing you up. And then two bad results, especially a shocker at the end to knock you out. And everybody's like, hmm, maybe they're still bad. Maybe they're not as good as people were making them out to be. But you could chalk up the Seattle result to the fact Seattle hasn't been good in this tournament either. And the fact they got through second was a little bit of a save because Vancouver pulled what they needed to pull. Because if Vancouver didn't win, Seattle would have been third. Still would have went through, but would have put them straight into the crosshairs of Toronto. Instead of it being the final, possibly, it would have been the quarters for them. I wouldn't have wanted that. Or actually, well, no. Last night made New York face us. Either way, it would have been, yeah. Yeah, but still. I'll take Vancouver pulling off what they pulled off. Group C. The two matches in the third match round. Toronto draws New England 0-0. And Montreal beats DC 1-0 to make the table look like this. In first place, Toronto FC. Five points plus one goal differential. Six goals scored. Second place, the New England Revolution. Five points plus one goal differential. Two goals scored. Third place, the Montreal Impact. Three points minus one goal differential. Four goals scored. And in fourth place and eliminated because of that last result, DC United, the Swashbucklers, two points minus one goal differential, three goals scored, advancing to the round of 16, Toronto FC, New England Revolution, and Montreal Impact is the wild card at third place. Three wild cards already. And in Group C, it actually finished the way I expected it to. One, two, three, and four. I actually got that right. Not the points wise, but the finish wise. The uh, standings. So you know what? I'm not going to complain. Group D. Toronto won the group and I got the standings right in my prediction. That's the only group I got right at all. And four out of four. I won't complain. Moving on to group D. The two results from this round. Real Salt Lake loses 2-0 to Sporting Kansas City. Colorado Rapids draw Minnesota United 2-2 to make the table look like this. Sporting Kansas City finishes first. Six points plus two goal differential. Four goals scored. Second place, Minnesota United. Five points plus one goal differential. Four goals scored. Third place, Real Salt Lake. Four points, even goal differential. Two goals scored. And in fourth place, the Colorado Rapids eliminated with one point. Minus three goal differential. Four goals scored. Which makes the round of 16 advancers look like this. Sporting Kansas City, first place. Minnesota United, second place. Real Salt Lake in third and they are the fourth wild card, so the next two groups do not have a wild card, of course, by process of elimination. You already know the bracket anyway. But this group, I got Kansas City winning it right, and I got Colorado dead wrong, finishing last. I thought Minnesota would also do okay in this group. I think they were going to go through as a wild card on my predictions bracket, so I got them going through. I thought Real Salt Lake would be worse, but... The group more or less came together as I expected, except Colorado fell apart. But it is what it is. Group E, the two results from this group, this match round. Atlanta United lose to Columbus Crew 2-0, get blanked out in the tournament, and Frank DeBoer got sacked, which I think is good for them, honestly. And then FC Cincinnati beat the New York Red Bulls 2-0 to make the table look like this. Columbus Crew in first, 9 points, plus 7 goal differential, 7 goals scored. Second place, FC Cincinnati, 6 points, minus 1 goal differential, 3 goals scored. In third place and eliminated, the New York Red Bulls, 3 points, minus 3 goal differential, 1 goal scored. And in fourth place and eliminated, Atlanta United, 0 points, th minus 3 goal differential, 0 goals scored. And for their trouble, their manager gets sacked. Advancing to the round of 16, Columbus Crew in first, FC Cincinnati in second, and I figured Columbus would do good in this group. I thought they would finish second. I thought Atlanta would still be good enough to finish first. 
I was wrong about that. Nobody thought Cincinnati was going to finish second. I think that shocked everybody. Everybody was shocked by that. But the, the result of the group is shocking, but not really shocking. Columbus looked amazing in this group, rightfully first place with nine points. And Cincinnati, good job getting second. That's all I got to say. And then finally in Group F, the final group to review in the group stage, the two results from Group F this week, match round three, LA Galaxy draw Houston 1-1. And LAFC draws Portland 2-2, two two, making the table look like this, finish like this. In first place, Portland Timbers, 7 points, plus 2 goal differential, 6 goals scored. LAFC in second, 5 points, plus 4 goal differential, 11 goals scored. In third place, an eliminated Houston Dynamo, 2 points, minus 1 goal differential, 5 goals scored. Fourth place and eliminated, LA Galaxy, one point, minus five, goal differential, four goals scored. The teams moving on to the round of 16, Portland Timbers in first and LAFC in second. The group didn't really surprise me, except I thought LAFC would win it and Portland would finish second. But I thought they would both move through. I thought the Galaxy would get third and move through, but I was wrong about that. But I don't think anybody expected how bad the Galaxy really were coming into this tournament. thought Houston would be a punching bag for everybody, but they weren't. So, for their sake, Galaxy kind of got owned there. So, that's reviewing the groups. Now we're going to preview and predict the round of 16 matches. First off, Orlando City SC versus the Montreal Impact. I don't think Montreal is good enough to win that match. Orlando has been amazing in this tournament. Chris Mueller, Nani, Ruan, Galese in goal. The whole team has been amazing. Playing under Pereja, they're amazing. They're amazing. They have an amazing system. Montreal doesn't know how they want to play. Yes, Tydare is a good player to play through. Bojan is playing okay, but there's no way they get past Orlando. Orlando would win this match. I know this. I believe it. The next match, Philadelphia Union versus the New England Revolution. I think Philadelphia has better quality than New England. They're both good sides, but considering Carles Heel is out with a foot injury and the game doesn't get New England points, they almost threw away that last game against Toronto. I don't think they really care. Philadelphia does, and they've been great in this tournament, so I think Philadelphia will win that match. Then, the third match of the round of 16, Toronto FC versus NYC FC. All I gotta say is, one, NYC FC sucks this year. One win, four losses, no draws. Toronto FC is amazing this year, even if their defense is kind of something that helps them shoot themselves in the foot sometimes. And third, history. Ever since Alejandro Pozuelo has came to Toronto, he has put New York in the ground more times than anybody could count for, but you get my point. Every single time since he's came to Toronto, he has put New York in the ground. He's going to do it again. Toronto wins against NYCFC to move on to the quarterfinals. Next match, the 40th match, halfway through the round of 16. Sporting Kansas City versus the Vancouver Whitecaps. Vancouver made it. This is where they end. They're an okay side, but Sporting Kansas City is playing to where they should be now. They're getting back to where they need to be. That first game was kind of a fluke. Sporting wins. Vancouver making the round of 16 was a big achievement, but that's where they finish. Kansas City wins this match. Next match, San Jose Earthquakes versus Real Salt Lake. San Jose's better. San Jose is just better. Real Salt Lake is milk toast. I don't think they're good. Nobody really thinks they're good. And I think Rusnak would still be hurt for this match. Mateus Almeida is going to man mark him out of the tournament. 
well, Mateus Almeida's men is going to man mark him out of the tournament. San Jose wins this match. 42nd match of the tournament. 2 4 6 match of the group stage. Seattle Sounders versus LAFC. LAFC is going to get their revenge. Seattle's not really been that good in this tournament besides beating Vancouver. And all three of those goals came against Crapo. They should have shelled Hassal, their backup goalkeeper, a youth backup goalkeeper, youngin, MLS debut. They should have shelled him. They didn't. They look good against Vancouver. They didn't look good against Chicago or San Jose. LAFC at least could still score buckets of goals, even if their defense sucks. I say it's probably going to be a 4-3 match, but LAFC would win by the skin of their teeth. And on the final day of the group stage, the penultimate game, Columbus Crew versus Minnesota United. Minnesota's a good team, but Columbus is amazing right now. Columbus is just hot right now. Zella Ryan, Zardes, Pedro Santos. Eloy Room, Eloy Room may not be in goal, but Tarbell is still a good goalkeeper. Honestly, Columbus wins this match. Minnesota has a shout, but not that much of a shout. Columbus would win. And finally, in the round of 16, Portland Timbers versus FC Cincinnati. FC Cincinnati is going to get demolished by Portland. Portland is not LAFC, but it's still going to be like 3-0, 4-0. Portland still has deadly playmakers and goal scorers. Valeri, Abobase, Nias Goda. Yeah, Blanco, yeah. Cincinnati made the round of 16, but they're like Vancouver, but even worse. It's going to be Portland. Portland is going to demolish them. And that is my predictions for the round of 16. That is my review of the match round three of the group stage of the MLS is back tournament. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Tomorrow, I'm going to preview Toronto FC versus NYC FC on Sunday. Pre preview the game for Sunday. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace.